Hello, welcome to another video. So today I'm just going to show off some of the new hotfix changes. So over here in this uh, loot tink farm, here is no longer a loot tink. Uh, this was released earlier today to address some drop rates and some minor bugs. Uh, another one is Chupacabracha over here. Uh, they have nerfed his overall drops. This gameplay is post nerf with the hotfix applied on Mayhem 3. So as you can see, even though the drop rates were nerfed overall, we're still getting plenty of legendaries, and I I'm I'm down for these changes. Honestly, the the loot is rather ridiculous at the moment, so uh, the, the these changes are definitely welcome. And it's not like they're starving as of loot. We're still getting way more than in say Fight for Sanctuary, Lilith DLC in Borderlands 2. So yeah, I'm just going to go through and just show some drops of a couple of bosses that I farm. I've got Giga Mind coming up here in a moment, and then a story boss later on, so just a heads up if you do not want to see that. Uh, some other changes are things like Sticky Nurse and Talk Shotties, which are fair enough. A Green Talk Shotty could carry you for longer than some legendaries, uh, which was not really on. It's now more in line with other shotguns right now and then they can scale those as they need to uh, in the future. A story boss, don't need to mention who it is, but now screams less when you hit it with elements. Yeah. Uh, they put that under balance changes, which was interesting. <laughs> I, I, I guess having a boss scream in your ear the entire time can uh, put you off. And then some minor bugs and fixes. Now, in terms of the... Uh, performance of the game. I know a lot of people have been complaining. They are working on it. It's a bit more complex uh, to do and not something that can be done in a hotfix, so that is coming down the line. So it is nice to hear that they're being more transparent than in the past than of what they're working on. So yeah, I'm very much looking forward to it. So uh, yeah, that pretty much wraps uh, this video up. Uh, drop rates in total, I still get about one to two legendaries per boss kill. I think that's fine, honestly. This is Mayhem 3 after all. Uh, I did hear reports of Mayhem 1 and 2 not being touched, so it might be worth exploring around with those two levels for the minute, but uh, we'll have to see what happens. Uh, as for other videos that I'm currently planning on, uh, I am doing two Amara builds. Uh, if you want to know kind of the build that I was using in Twitch Rivals, if you saw that, there was like a Twitch competition for Borderlands 2 Proving Grounds. I'll go over my Amara build that I used, as well as another endgame Amara build, which I am absolutely loving at the moment, uh, that I couldn't use for Twitch Rivals because I didn't have the gear, but hey, what can you do? I've got it now. <laughs> and then I'll be covering the other characters. I know some people have been wanting to see what my builds are. Well, now that's out of the way, uh, I can now just focus on improving my character's gear-wise, and uh, that'll be a lot of fun. So yep, yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Ugh. <sighs>